let's take a look at this problem. It says, um, let me get to a blank page. Consider a binomial experiment with n is equal to 12. So n is equal to 12, where the probability of success is 0.4 or 0 0.40. And a says uh, probability x is equal to 3, which means uh, x is equal to 3. I always like to list out the x values that we're working with. Now whenever you're looking for the exact, then that's binompedia. And the um, format of the parameters is uh, in alphabetical order. So NPX, so put N in first, and then our P, and then our X. So let's see what that gives us. So do second VARs, and choose binom PDF. And then N, which is 12 comma, 0.4, 0 0.40, give the, both give you the same answer, and then 3. You can put a closing parenthesis if you want, but you don't need to. And I press enter, and rounding it to four decimal places, the next, the fifth decimal place is a 9, so it means we round up. So this is 0.1419. Now B, probability X is less than 7. X is less than 7. Let's list out what that means. Well, that means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Less than 7 does not include 7. Now, when you're going from 0 up to a number, then this is going to be binom CDF. So, do binom CDF. We'll put in N, which is 12, RP, which is 0 0.40. And then the ending number, when we go from 0 up to a number, so we're going to put in 6. Okay, so we got um, second VARs, and I'll do an up arrow to get there relatively fast. Binom CDF, then I'll put in 12, comma, 0.4, comma, 6, and then press enter. And the four decimal places, the fifth one's an 8, so it means we'll round up. So this will be 0 0.8418. And now C. C says probability X is at most 8. At most 8. Well, that means we're going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. At most 8 means it's not uh, going past 8, but it includes 8. Now this previous one is less than 7. You notice it did not include 7. In case you're wondering, this is the equal to case, this is the less than case, and this is the less than or equal to case. Now remember, if you're going from 0 up to a number, then we're going to plug it straight into our binom CDF. So we'll put in our N, which is 12 our P, which is 0.4, and then the ending number when we go from 0 up to a number, which will be 8. And let's see what that gives us. So do second VARs, do an up arrow, choose binom CDF, 12, comma, 0.4, comma, 8, and then press enter. And uh, rounding it to four decimal places, we got 0 0.9847. Now D is more than five. I didn't do the between case. Oh well. Um, is more than five. Well, let's write down what that means. More than five. Well, that's um, more than five does not include five. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. This is um, more than. This is the greater than case. Well, binom CDF will not work here because binom CDF has to go from 0 up to a number. So this is going from uh, number to the end. 
how we do this is um, we're going to do 1 minus and then probability of x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now the reason why is all of our possibilities are 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 12. If we subtract off probability wise all the values from 0 to 5 that's going to leave us 6 to 12. Now it'll always work this way. When it doesn't start at 0 but starts at a number then uh, if you take a look at this number right here the number that we end with here will always be one less and you always have one minus and then probability from zero up to this number for example if this was a nine this would be one less so this would go up to eight so this would be from zero to eight now at this point we're ready to plug in our calculator Again, there we go. This is going to be 1 mi minus binom CDF, N, which is 12, comma P, which is 0 0.4, and then our ending number when we go from 0 up to a number, which would be 5. So let's see what that gives us. We've got 1 minus, and then um, second VARS. I'm going to do my up arrow. Go to binom CDF. 12 comma 0.4 comma 5 and then press enter and to four decimal places we'll get 0.3348 uh, since the fifth decimal place is 9 that means we round up okay E um, is at least 9 that means it could be 9, 10, so on. This is the greater than or equal to case. That's what least means. So we got x equals at least 9, means we're going to go 9, 10, 11, and 12. Well, we're going to rewrite this as 1 minus probability x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Remember what I said on the previous problem. I said if it starts with a number other than 0, then whatever number it starts with, you subtract 1 from it, and that's where this goes up to. So it goes up to 8. Okay, let's see what we get here. I better write down the calculator first. So 1 minus binom CDF N, which is uh, 12, and then P, which is 0.4, and then our ending value when we go from 0 up to a number, which would be 8. So we'll do 1 minus second VARS, which is binom CDF, 12, comma, 0.4, comma, 8, and then press enter. In the four decimal places, we're going to have 0 0.0153. Since the fifth decimal place is a 6, that means we round up and this goes to 3. And those would be our, our answers.